God truly does not hate fags. I am the most shook. I'm ready to abandon She's everything and everyone. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, back, back, back again. Only this time we're doing what we love to do, which is eat. We have McDonald's. We are doing a little mukbang. Okay, I can understand if you're confused. We filmed the mukbang, but we got very little food, which is very weird because we're very big girls. So instead, what I'm doing is I'm putting the mukbang right before the Taylor vlog. So that way you guys had more footage of John and I acting a fool. All right. Thank you for listening to this little PSA. And now back to the video. We didn't get much food because we're we trying broke. to be skinny legends and we broke. So I got to make chicken, some fries. Got fries and a double quarter pounder. I did not get a drink because I'm drinking alcohol still. Oh, they put lettuce on my fucking meat chicken. God forbid there be a vegetable in there. I guess I'll just eat it like this. What's your favorite vegetable, Rosini? Tomato. Tomato? That's a fruit. Is it a fruit? It has seeds. Yes, it's a fruit. I have beets. Huh? Beets. Beets? She's a vegetarian. Mmm. Potato. I don't know that I really... That's not... That's a starch. Um. Um. Then I don't eat a vegetable. What's your favorite food? My favorite food, tacos. I'm probably gonna say shepherd's pie. No, American tacos. The trashy ones in the hard shell with the flat bottom, ideally, because I can't hold them on my own. My favorite food is probably my mom's stroganoff. You love that stroganoff. Mm. Okay, so when Rossini moved out, his mom had sent, so they had like moved some of his stuff down, and they brought so many like pre frozen, like little dinners. So that Rossini could have home cooked meals. It was actually the cutest thing. And uh, thanks to Heat Mom for doing that for me. Okay? And so Rossini's parents bring him, like, we needed a separate fridge <laughs> for Rossini's dinners. And he only had a couple left when he moved, but he left them. And I guess nobody knew that they were there, and we had been sharing a room. Because the last was using it. Yes. Well, I did not. Because I didn't go in his room because we were, like, in a fight, so I refused to. We're in a five fight. month long fight. We were in the biggest fight. I'd almost ruined our friendship. We almost were not friends. It's a miracle that we're sitting here today. Um, but so I went home and I thought, oh, like, let me save some power and unplug Rossini's fridge. And I went home for two weeks. And apparently the stroganoffs, the lasagnas, the whole thing had unfrozen. And they, like, thawed and it was just, it was disgusting. Apparently the apartment smelled horrible. When I got home I had to, like, bleach the floors and, like, the walls just to, like, get the smell out because it would not leave. It was terrible. It was horrifying. I have a funny story about water country. When I was younger, I was in when I first got, came to America. You know those slides that you like go like this and you yeah. come down? Did you get stuck? No, I didn't get stuck. <laughs> no, I was, I was a skinny legend. I actually was like a little twig. In Brazil, it's common practice, like, instead of wearing swim trunks, you wear Speedos. So, here I was. I met little Speedo. And then, I'm like, I'm so excited to go on this little slide. I'm, like, an American. Like, I'm gonna get, live my Caucasian dream. Fast forward to me going outside, so excited. And my ass just... <laughs> my Speedo rides up my ass crack. It hurts so bad. I come out of it, like... <gasps> Crying in Portuguese and I don't think I'm new English at this point. Another traumatic thing that happened to me around the first time I came to America. I did not eat apples for <laughs> probably like <laughs> seven years. <laughs> because I well no, I did not I, I did not eat apples without peeling them for seven years. You didn't you did not eat apples? No, I didn't eat um non-peeled apples. So you didn't eat apple skin. Yeah. Because on the way here from Brazil, my Stupid ass decided to eat a banana. Banana. Decided to eat an apple. I have a tendency to just eat quickly. I have ever since I was a kid. You just like having things in your mouth. No, not all times. And I was eating it so fast, and we were descending onto the United States of America. Onto the whole United States. Onto the whole United States, <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. Like, cold as fuck because it was a winter when we came here. Fast forward to me choking on the apple skin and almost throwing up. And I was so traumatized because, like, this is the first time I'm going to the States. I'm so excited. Um, like, and I'm almost died. Right. Should have died. All right. So this is a banana. As you can see, it is quite valid. And I'm truly, 
I'm not gonna ham this up. I'm not gonna do anything out of the norm. I'm gonna eat a banana the way that I always do. Um, so, content warning, if there are any children, you may wanna remove them. All right, <laughs> hi, it's me again, sorry. So, if you're confused, it makes sense as to why you're confused. It's been a long running joke between me and Vinny that John eats a banana very, very sexually. So I'm just gonna cut to him eating the banana for the duration of the today's video. Enjoy. had some fun times. Thank you guys so much for watching this little mukbang. I like mukbangs because they're kind of like unfiltered. They're nice. You eat like, is there anything better? I cannot wait to go see Taylor. It's my first time. John's like third time. And so we are here at Gillette Stadium. This is Tamara. Hello. This is John. All decked out in his merch. John, how much did you spend for this era? We don't need to talk about it because talking about money is crass and I'm a lady. So that's a lot. We um, are don't really. Me, that's fine, bitch. What? Don't introduce me, that's fine. I was getting to it. <laughs> this is Crystal. So. Have you been on my channel before? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Do we? Crystal, no. That was with uh, on Caroline's channel. Yeah. That's yeah. like in the bloopers. Um, my face is so red. Oh my god, that is what happens okay. when you're three nights are deep. Well, look at the difference in my skin tone. Look how <laughs> white I am. That's what happens when you know, ever show your body. Hello, everyone. Sorry to cut into Rossini's vlog, but um, you can't see it. Rossini is all the way up there, <laughs> and I'm all the way right here. I'm not even a fan. Oh. I'm just here for Charlie XCX because I got free tickets because <laughs> Charlie XCX decided to give Ben, uh, my friend, free tickets and put him on the guest list. So, sorry, sweeties, that you're stuck all the way out there, but <laughs> oh my I'm here to enjoy the show. For uh, she's in for a rude awakening because karma was on her side. I'll let you know that the universe was on our side a few moments later. <laughs> We just got in the pit! I am the most shook. How did this happen? What just happened? Help! 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 We were just fighting for floor seats and then we get in the fucking pit! Pit!
more eloquent when it comes to speaking. I fumble every word that I say, so explain what just transpired in the last three hours, four hours, whatever, any time. So, I would like to start the story off by saying to the Westboro Baptist Church, God truly does not hate fags because what has happened was by the sweet, sweet hands of baby Jesus herself. So, I get up to go to the bathroom. I have to pee like I always do. I bring Tamara with me. We go to the bathroom, and then we find this nice little spot. We were in section 135 at Gillette. We find this nice little spot at what? Section 128. 128. Which is at the end of the section. At the very end of the stadium on the first level. It's near the bathrooms. It's near the margarita stands. We have a great view of the stage. And there's and nothing above us, so we can get the breeze. We can get some rain if it comes. Exactly. So more importantly, as Tamara just said, we can get rain. And I'm manifesting a rain show. I'm praying for a rain show. It's all I want is it to rain. So I think. I get Crystal and Rossini to come. They come and join us. Andressa and her friend. Andressa's my sister, by the way. Um, her friend, Abby, um, Abby. Abby comes. The six of us are there. Crystal leaves. She goes to get margaritas. She's gone a really long time. We're all dancing. We're all having a hoot. We're all having fun. Crystal gets back, and then this beautiful angel woman is wearing a little black dress with, like, a Taylor Swift, like, VIP Camilo lanyard Cabe She looks like Camila Cabello. As Camila Cabello is like performing. Yes, Camila Cabello is playing Havana. Did she and play it? She didn't play Havana. Yes, yeah, she, did. she did. It was happening during oh, the chaos. See? Oh wow. So literally we're missing Havana because this woman's going, Do you have your tickets? Like what section are you in? And I'm so I'm fumbling, I have T Mobile, so like thanks to Heap T Mobile, it's taking forever to load. <laughs> and I'm trying to find my tickets and I'm like, Great, like we're all getting in trouble, like we're gonna have to go back to one three five, and dress is gonna have to go back to the nosebleeds, like whatever we tried. If it rains, we're not gonna get wet. So what? And then, so I show this woman our tickets. And, and then she thinks for a little bit. And she thinks for a minute, and then she looks at me, and she goes, do you want to go to the pit? And I don't hear her. And I'm like, come again? And she's like, I, I think I said, like, one, three, five. Like, I kept telling her my, our section. And then she just says, do you want to go to the pit? Do you want to go to the pit? And y'all, when I tell you we start running down the stairs, poor Crystal is holding <laughs> two margaritas, and she's just, like, spilling all over herself. I have all your shit in my head. Tamar has all my shit. I, I was like, I was ready to abandon everything and everyone. She was already no, crying. You were, no, you were crying and you were like, somebody needs to hold my uh, phone. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so we get down there and we're on the pit and it was beautiful. We literally were right there. Taylor was right above us. Not was, yet, but like to her face. Like, well, but she the came stage. out and yeah. she ended up dancing all around us and... You know, it was Rossini's first time seeing Taylor Swift. It was mine and Tamara's second time seeing Reputation. It was Taylor's first time seeing her in a stadium. The last time she had seen her was at TD Garden on the her Fearless name is era. Taylor. I said Crystal. You said the last time Taylor. she saw Taylor. Oh, I wasn't there. Oh, I'm flattered. In what? <laughs> I'm pretty. Whatever. But yeah, it was just magical. And magical things do happen. So never lose hope. God bless. Amen. We're still, we're still at a loss for words. And apparently we don't know our friends' names. Yeah. But that's okay. So this get ready with us, before we left for the concert, was a train wreck and a half. My funny, my funniest friend, John, was not funny at all. I was cracking more jokes than he was, and mine are really bad. So, like, she was just not on one. Besides the point... Okay. We had the best concert of our entire lives. Our entire lives. So, the universe... Our wildest, wildest dreams, dreams <laughs> came true! Good night. Long live the snake queen. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.